All right, guys, we're here with Konrad Tomaszkiewicz, and you are the director of The Witcher. That is fantastic. So, you know, tell me a little bit about Witcher and what you guys are trying. I mean, you guys are completely redoing everything for this, and it's a huge, huge project you've got on your shoulders, I guess. Tell me about it a little bit. Yeah, it's it's very, very huge project, and, and what is important is this last part of the Adventures of the Geart of Rivia, and it will be the best one, you know. Uh, we change much things. Uh, we add uh, to existing elements, which are the most important for us, like Nolina's storyline, and you know, and then the choices and consequences, and you know, this emotional approach to the to the to the game. We add to it the open world, and it was a huge challenge, really huge, because in The Witcher 2 you got this intense, you know, storyline, intense emotions, and when you got open world, you can go wherever you want, and we need to keep it this intense storyline for you. And we create some, some ideas, we, uh, we create some new uh, features for it, and it's work really, really good. And of course, we are on, on next gen. Uh, that's the next challenge, because uh, you need to make the game look awesome, is the first thing. And the second thing, you need to be sure that it will work very, very smoothly on these consoles. It, it's cool that they are, you know, that, that, that they got quite similar spec, quite similar to the PC, because it will give us more time to polish the content and, you know, add more interesting things to the game. And you saw the game. What can I say? Yeah. So we actually have a lot of questions based off of our Reddit community and people who are actually wondering things about your game. Um, one of the questions was actually talking about the naval gameplay. Obviously, you know, boats are going to be a big deal in the game. So tell me more about it and how it's going to affect the gameplay and, and how important they really are. But, you, but you're speaking about the weather or so? When it actually comes to, like, because I, I was actually looking at some of the yeah. footage they've got where you're on a boat and they said, like, even, yeah. like, you could you could get your boat torn apart just yeah, in the, exactly. the sheerness of the ocean. You know, tell me about the naval gameplay a little bit. Uh, well, the navy gameplay is very important for us because now the, 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 the game is open and, and one of the uh, bigger lands in the game, and we got three, the main three of them in, in, in the game, uh, are the Skellige Islands you saw today. And one of the islands is, uh, is the size of the Witcher 2, the whole Witcher 2. And you got many islands in this archipelago. You need to travel between them. You need to uh, discover the, you know, the, 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 the secret stuff you, we put for you in, the, in this, you know, in this island. And you need to get this navy. And to, 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 make, to make this sailing very, very cool, uh, we needed to add some gameplay elements to it. And one of them is, of course, weather system and storms which uh, which make the uh, the sailing more hard the waves will be bigger and you can you know destroy your war a boat on this on the, on the rocks you can fall off fell off from the from the boat and just drown there and you know and uh, I think it will be cool and it will be very very immersive for the players I think that's you know for me the open world and and, and elements like horse elements like boat and and you know the uh, the freedom of exploration is very important because it gives you this immersion that you are in the real world where you can do whatever you want. So this is much more than just an element of travel. I mean, this is like you can do much more than just get in your boat and go somewhere. Yes, yes. We 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 adding, you know, and we still designing features which we want, you know, connect to the boat because we need to make, you know, uh, horse riding and, and and sailing very interesting. You know, it needs to be fun to do it. Yeah. So when it comes to another question that was asked. Um, they were talking about, you know, since it's open world, are the monsters going to scale with the level of your character? Are you going to have it so? No, no, we never do stuff like this. You know, we we are fans of uh, of uh, living world, which is very believable. And if you scale the monsters, you you don't feel that you progress. You know, your 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 uh, character that you that you you know develop your your hero. And uh, we uh, got another approach. We just uh, got areas in the game which are, you know, easier and harder. And it depends on you in which, you know, uh, order you want to do them. If you want, you know, on the beginning, go to the hard area and try to kill monsters and, you know, get a better stuff, you can do it. It depends on you. So can you give us some more, um, I guess, information about the decisions that you make in Witcher 2? How is that going to affect the Witcher 3 game? Uh, decisions was from the beginning of the franchise was the most important for us because we we want you know uh, show the players that every decision they made in the game got their own consequences and 
always these consequences are quite quite far in the game and uh, and of course they are not black and white they are shade and this is our you know main and unique point in in, in the franchise and we doing it in this second in the first feature also uh, and now your decisions will impact on the whole world i mean uh you got stuff like this that you saw in the presentation that you do something and you back after 10, 12 hours and you see that, you know, this village is wiped out because of your doings. You got this uh, flashback mechanics which reminds you why it happens. And you got, you know, these emotions involved in it that maybe if you do something else, you will, you know, the consequences will be different and you never know. So how is, you know, we were talking about the open world, how is the open world going to affect the story? In Witcher 1 and 2, you kind of more, you had like a, more of a track to go on and it was very story driven in that way. How is the open world going to change how Witcher 3? Uh, first of all, uh, it changed the approach to creating the storyline because you cannot do, for example, acts of the game that you got prologue, first act, second act and so on because it's, it's really hard to keep player in place where, where you want to put him. And we don't want to make these invisible barriers and, you know, and, and keep him there. Uh, that's why we create a story th this uh, way that the uh, main storyline is divided for the main landscapes. And you can do it uh, in, in, in order you want to. Uh, we are not make any borders, any, you know, any, any other stuff like this. And when you do every, uh, every uh, story events you need to do, the world is changed. There's some, something uh, events are, 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 are came, came and you know, change it. You know. It's it's different approach, but I think the better one because you you got freedom and you you don't need to do what what we you know uh, ask you for this particular moment. So is there anything else you'd like to add about the game? Uh, I can add that it will be released in 2014. It will be for free platforms, and don't worry. You know, I know that uh, you are afraid probably about diagrams and so on and so on. But we are still the same company. Uh, on the first day, the game will be uh, available in the in the uh, GOG.com. It will be free, diagram free, and you know. And I think that's all. I keep support us, and we will do you know the best RPG you can imagine. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you much. your time. It was a pleasure meeting you, and we all look forward to Witcher 3. So, Thank thanks. You.